Hi, great tents. Welcome to the right side of page 79. Previously, we've done the triangular pyramid. Now we're going to do the square pyramid. So we are still given the starting point and we are asked to draw the given front view, the sectional top view and the sectional left view. So this is what we are given and then we will just copy it down. We are going to start with the top view in construction though. We have to start it with construction and we can see that we are given one side of a square and each side is equals to 34. So we are going to use half of 34, which is 17, and draw a circle. So we are going to use 17 of 34, order for us to draw the circle so our pole is given there so we are going to draw a circle let me just zoom in and then you will take your 45 degrees square. squares let's just extend this This lines. Then you will use your forty five to draw around the square, drawing tangents and just extending these lines. Remember, you're using a construction first. There is your square. Then you can just label your points one, two, three, four. I will leave this one, the apex as O. Once again, you measure your 10 up. Get your XY, your original XY, or your given XY. Turn it up again where you need to start. Then you just have to project your point up. Then this one I will project it all the way up. Then the height of the square pyramid is 73. So that means all of my points are going to be coming to that 73. There it is. Then I will just label here. I have two and four. Then I have my three. Then there at the top, as I said, I will leave it as all. Once that is done, I will add my cutting planes. We have cutting plane AA going at 36. And then my cutting plane BB, it starts on this side, it cuts at 18. So it cuts at 18, I will transfer that 18 there so that I know that it's here. And then on line 1 O, it's 45 millimeters. So and I will transfer my 45 to the side. Then 
align the points and then join them. So that is my cutting plane. After that, we are using A for the top view. That means once again, I have to weight cut three O. We have three O, it's being cut here. Then we have one O, it's being cut here. So I have to bring that to one O. And then there's this middle point that we need to first take to the side, then bring down. So you can see that if you take it down, it's going to align with three, then it's going to be this point. So you need to transfer it up and down. So you're going to open the distance of one of the points because it is the same distance. Oops. Transfer it here, you'll have a point. And transfer it to the bottom. You have a point. So here's your point. Here's your point. They all form up a little square inside. And then once you have that section, then extend your points out only up until the cutting point. So that is the sectional top view. Now for the sectional left view. Turn out. To where you marked turn out there. Extend your run. Then it will be your other XY. 45 degrees. So, then you have to eject your points to the 45. Then up. So here you have your two, here you have one and three, one and three, then you have four. So you write four, then your height, then you will get your Pyramid and triangular format like that. Then you have your O at the top. Once that is done, you can now start projecting BB because they've requested that you draw according to BB on the left view. So you're going to cut to take weight cuts 
1 and 4. That's 1 here. Remember, 1 is sharing a line with 3. Then it's cutting 2 and 4 here. So there's 2, 4 is on the other side. Then it's cutting 3. So 3 is being cut there. Once again, join them. And then outline what remains. So BB, you're looking at your drawing. <clears throat> you're looking at your drawing from the left. Oh, so if you're looking at it from the left, this is what remains. So you're going to outline the top part of your drawing. So there, and then the other line will be in hidden detail because it's this point at the back. So it's in hidden detail. And lastly, we will just get our points, then put it in patch it. So I'm sort of using this part of my set square just to ensure that all of my lines are equal. But this is your page 79, right? As you can see, sectional top, sectional left using AA and BB. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. I will see you on the next one.